Okay, here we are to talk about the Steve Jobs biography. Now, this was very, very long, and I just finished it. If you look at the unboxing, it's a long time ago that I did it, probably six months or more. And I finally got around to finishing it. I, found, I actually, just about a month or two ago, I started it. I had listened to this a long time ago back in the day, and I finally got a CD version of it. So I was really excited because it was a good book. And it is. Um, let's just say this. It's 24.5 hours long, 2011, and it's 20 CDs, and it was $50 at the time. So I can't imagine a lot of people bought this because it was probably too expensive. I don't agree with a lot of Steve Jobs says, like this innovation part. He keeps saying Apple's innovating and all of that. What are they innovating with at the time? Um, like when they released the iPhone, all right, they started with the multi-touch and all that, but they left out a lot of features. Like, look, for instance, with the iPhone, it took to the third iPhone to be able to video record. Isn't that foolish, if you ask me? Luckily, jailbreaks and stuff would allow you to treat your camera like a video camera, but the frame rate was terrible and all of that. But at least you were given the opportunity. You had to wait to the third phone to be able to do that. Uh, I thought that was a little ridiculous, if you ask me. Now, I've had a lot of iPhones. The only iPhones I really skipped over were the, um, the 5, the 5S, the 6S. I had the 6 Plus, though. Um, the, I didn't have the iPhone 8, but then I had the X, the XS Max, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I'm skipping this here. What could they possibly pull out of the half of the next phone? All it is is camera upgrades now. That's all they do is upgrade the camera. Um... Another thing I wanted people to know is there's no way in hell that these CEOs of their time were walking around with the same phones as everybody else. There's no way. There had to be some modification on board these phones with better batteries or something. Because there's no way they're going to use the same phone. Especially if there's widespread problems with it. Do you think the CEO of Apple is going to walk around with a phone that can be hacked? Of course not. He's probably just going to put it away and pick up another phone in the meantime. And, you know, the, the pro another thing that really shadow, um, shadows over me, with, whatever you want to call it, with Steve Jobs, is his personal life. He was rotten to everybody. And in the end, they all just came back to him like he, was a knock, like he did nothing wrong. I don't understand how you can do that. Like if someone treats you so bad for so long, I wouldn't be there. That, that Those are some good people to be able to come back and forgive them for something like that. Um, let's just say that I, I feel bad what happened to him overall. You know, if he was still alive today, I think Apple would at least have some better products, but they wouldn't be perfect. They're not, the, the, the innovation isn't, you know, 100%. The people keep acting like Apple is um, innovating like crazy. I, I disagree with that. Um, to this day... Apple's the next big thing that Apple's going to come out with that I think that's going to be worth even a look at is their virtual reality headset, whatever it's called. Other than that, I don't see anything going crazy with the company. I mean, the Apple Watch is just the same thing. The Ultra I have is nice, but um, I got it for the battery life. I didn't get it for anything else. <laughs> I could care less about those um, that um, underwater feature and stuff like that. And um, that doesn't really matter to me. It would be nice if they came out with an Apple Watch that was a regular one that had good battery life. I mean, how, Steve Jobs was around. Well, actually, no, he wasn't around for the Apple Watch. But if he was, I think he would have did a little better with the battery life. You can't have people walking around with a phone with a watch that only lasts not even a day on average use. The only time it lasts over a day and people claim it does is because they don't have any notifications or anything happening. Of course, the watch is going to last a long time. So good luck with everybody. Um, you know, I disagree with how he treated his daughter and all of that. But you know what? It doesn't seem like anybody really cares about that. Because if they did, they would mention it more often. Everything is just about this other stuff. You know, if he wasn't a good innovator and all of that, they would have kicked him out of Apple a second time. Or uh, It was all about his genius to, for a product and how to sell it to people. Um, I could just imagine what it would have been like to go to a restaurant. They mentioned that he used to go out to eat with a lot of people like Bill Gates and, and sometimes and stuff like that. And I used to say, what was that like? And he, Bill Gates was like an enemy to him, except for one thing. He said Bill Gates, all Microsoft it was ugly. They made a terrible system. It was uh, all stuff like that when it comes to 
Microsoft. I started laughing my ass off because Bill Gates was worth like more than triple or quadruple what he was worth. And, if, and tell me, if Steve Jobs was innovating as much as he was, why wasn't he ma worth more than Steve Jobs? I mean, <laughs> forgive me. Why wasn't he worth more than Bill Gates? Um, Bill Gates isn't a stupid guy. I mean, people might not believe in his views, but he knew how to make his money. And um, Microsoft wouldn't have such a dominance. If um, Think about it. I think Microsoft really has... The only reason why they have a dominance is because... They they don't have computers that are over $1,000 like Apple does. Um, Steve Jobs might at the time thought that was acceptable. It's not. Nobody wants to buy a computer where they have to spend $1,500 to have any decent specs on it. I mean, just saying. Well, that's that. You know, right now, though, I have to say, regardless of how I might think of the guy, they'd be better off with him still than what they are now. The company is a disaster. They just keep recreating every product you can think of. And that's why I'm thinking about, um, that's why I stopped buying all the watch bands. I was like, I said to myself, what a waste. You know, these aren't going to connect to future watches. So why do I keep buying them? That was the end of that. Um, what else? Is there any other products I really missed? The iPad. I haven't updated my iPad. And let's see, 21, 22. It might be three years old now. <laughs> There's no reason to upgrade the iPad more than every four or five years. And is that a huge innovation? Not really, because the iPhone came out before that. So um, when you look at it, the iPhone can do everything the iPad can and more. iPhone's 10 times better than an iPad. It should be that way. The technology on board an, uh, on board an iPad it should be 10 times better because it's big and you can put more stuff on it. So when you buy an iPad, it should have a better processor, processor maybe not a better camera because no one really uses it except for people like me. Or to take selfies. They, they should consider that. Alright. Bye bye.